Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm going to share with you everything I have learned about making flaxseed bread, flaxseed tortillas and flaxseed crackers. These recipes are really simple but not easy, so in this video I'll show you everything you need to know step by step. I'm using golden flax seeds for all three recipes because their flavor is mild compared to brown flax seeds and their color is light. Brown flax seeds or a mix of the two work as well, but I prefer golden flax seeds. The first step is grinding the flax seeds into fine flour. I'm using my Vitamix blender, but you can also use a coffee grinder. Once you have your flax seeds finely ground, sift the flax seed meal. Sifting the flax seed meal applies only to the flax seed bread recipe. And I have to say that I have made the bread several times without sifting the flax seed meal and it worked. So it's not critical that you sift the flax seed meal. However, if the flax seed meal is not fine enough or if there are some partially ground seeds left, the inside of the bread will pull away from the crust. So to be safe, I recommend sifting the flax seed meal for for the bread. The next ingredients are baking powder and salt. Stir until combined. This part might be a little confusing because as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I will be sharing three recipes with you today and each recipe has slightly different leavening agents, so make sure you follow the ingredients on my blog. The next variable is water temperature. For the flaxseed bread, you will need warm water. For the flaxseed tortillas, you will need boiling hot water because you want the tortillas to be soft and pliable. And for the flaxseed crackers, I usually just use cold water. Make sure to measure the flaxseed meal and water because the correct ratio of flaxseed meal to water is really important. As you start mixing the water with the dry ingredients, you will see that the flaxseed meal gradually forms a dough. Now that we have the dough ready, the rest is really easy. Let's start with the bread. Shape the dough into a loaf of bread and place it into a greased or parchment paper lined loaf pan. I'm using a cast iron pan. If you don't have cast iron, that's okay. Just try to stay away from silicone and glass because they are poor heat conductors. If you'd like, you can sprinkle some seeds on top of the bread. I use a mix of flax seeds, sesame seeds and sunflower seeds and gently press down on the seeds to help them stick better. Alright, now onto the flaxseed tortillas. The dough should not be too sticky. It will always be slightly sticky compared to the flaxseed bread for instance, but it shouldn't be difficult to roll out. If the dough is sticky, even after you let it rest for a few minutes, add a little more flaxseed meal. To roll out the dough, place the dough on a piece of parchment paper. Cover the dough with another piece of parchment paper and press it into a disc with your hand. It's really important that you use parchment paper, which has a non-stick silicone coating. Wax paper won't work. My tortillas were 8.5 inches in diameter. To make a perfectly round tortilla, place a round bowl or a plate on top of the rollout dough and cut around the edges. Thank you. 
transfer the tortilla on a preheated pan. You can use well-seasoned cast iron pan, which is naturally non-stick, or any other non-stick pan. The pan does have to be non-stick, stainless steel will not work. Cook the flaxseed tortilla for 60 to 90 seconds or until you can easily slip a spatula underneath it. If it seems sticky, it's not done yet. Flip and cook for about 30 to 60 seconds on the other side. Be careful not to overcook the tortilla or it will get crispy and you won't be able to roll it. Last but not least are the flaxseed crackers. Just like with the tortillas, you will need to roll out the dough. This time I'm rolling the dough into a square, so I can easily score the dough into little squares. Slide the parchment paper with the roll out dough onto a baking sheet or a pan and sprinkle the dough with some flax seeds and sesame seeds. Bake the cracker at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. The crackers are ready when the border and the center is crispy and golden brown. The crackers don't get much crispier when cooling down, so you want them to be crispy before you take them out of the oven. And that's it! Flaxseed bread, flaxseed tortillas and flaxseed crackers. We've got three different recipes here. Flaxseed bread, flaxseed flatbread, and flaxseed crackers. And that's a lot of flax seeds. So just so that you know, I don't make all these three recipes at once. Usually I make the flatbread and I fill it with hummus and veggies and I turn it into wraps. But my daughter loves the bread and Tana seems to prefer the crackers. Mm -hmm. And something very interesting happened in the production of this video because when Petra was making the crackers, we had a batch that was like slightly overdone, a little bit charred around the edges, but it tasted great in my opinion because somehow, someway, the flaxseed crackers took on the flavor of crispy bacon. I'm not kidding. Some, like when you make really crispy bacon, the edges, they get like that salty, really, really crispy texture. That's what was going on with these crackers. So. I, I don't like them fun. when they're overdone, but you seem to mm -hmm. like them. I did. I like them a lot. So, just nothing like burnt, but just if you leave them in for a little bit longer, tastes pretty good. Other than that, they remind me very much of like the nut and seed crackers that Petra makes. Yes. The bread, I would describe it more as like, it's thicker, denser, slightly more moist than what I would call bread. I would say it's approaching cake territory. It's got like a quite a salty flavor to it, so it's not neutral. It's quite salty. Um, you can leave out the salt if you want to. Okay, there you go. You don't have to add it. The crust holds together quite nicely though. Like out of all of the, the loaf, the crust is probably the most convincing part in terms of like a bread substitute. The crust really does a good job of being a bread substitute. It's really familiar in the way that it flakes and folds and as you could bite into it. The flatbread, I'm not a chef, but in my learnings of living with Petra, I know that you can make a flax egg yes. to mimic an egg. Yes. And I'm really surprised at how well it does that with this flatbread. Like, I would almost guess that this is omelet. Not by the flavor, but just oh. by like the... Yeah. Like it almost... I'm, I don't even think about that. You could not tell me that there was not an egg in here. 
Like it, it does a really good job of mimicking an egg in terms of like, even like the, the oil, like the, that oily yeah. texture that you get from an egg. It's there in this. And then other than that, it's more neutral than the, the bread. So the flax, the, the, the wrap is more neutral than the bread. And like I said, my favorite is the crackers. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.